Good morning and welcome to my 100 day project. My name is Lisbeth and I'm a Danish abstract mixed media artist. If you don't know what the 100 day project is, please look at the video from day one. And uh, I have put a link in the description box below here. And there is also a link to the whole playlist with the videos from the 100 day project. Here in this box, all my small pieces live and you can see the amount is growing and this is getting smaller and smaller, this stack here. So um, I use 200 GSM watercolor substrate and I have cut the pieces up in they are 7 by 15 centimeters. Um, today is week eight and it is today is uh, week no, not week it is day 50 and i will do up to 56 so but let the party starts a while ago i made these uh, i i have made the fabric but i have made the pattern on the fabric it is ordinary black cotton fabric and I have taken some chlor chlorine or chlorine I don't know how to pronounce it and then I have uh, put it in my pipette and then I have dripped it or dragged it or drawn with the pipette and you can get all kinds of nice patterns the more you press out the, the more The, the black uh, dye in the fabric disappears so you can make a lot of funny or interesting patterns this way I think that's the last one here uh, and I think I will use them today um, I, I don't know if, if every black dyed fabric will react this way but yeah try and see what happens so um and also i have some jelly prints here i think match in the colors so i think uh, this would be this week's project using these fabrics and some of this paper so let us begin with writing the date on the back so today it is day 50 and i'm halfway through the project today uh, and it is uh, 7th of april 2024 yeah so that's uh, and i think i will start with this um, dotted big dots fabric here yeah, or big splatters or what you would call them and then i will cut a little piece out <laughs> Perhaps uh, this way here. And this way here. And the lovely sound here. The fabric. So here we have this, and I will the edges yeah perhaps I would cut a little of this off here it's not that big yeah yeah so of course I have to turn it around <laughs> perhaps I'll put the biggest in the bottom and then I will have a little of something up here. And let me see. Just a little piece of this. I don't like the white edges here. 
and this piece. I don't know if I like the color either. I don't like that color. I will look a little more for finding another piece there. I think this piece is much better, so uh, I will just take a little of it off here and make it a little more, a little more. There. And then I will glue it down. And it is just a nice, fresh, juicy glue stick. But of course you can use whatever you want of glue to put your pieces down. And then this here. I don't think the, f the fabric is um, <laughs> happy about you putting chlorine on it. And I, if it is fabric you will use for things to wear, I'm not sure if it would damage the fabric in the long run. Um, I think it will get, uh, I don't know what the word is, but it will tear easily if you put chlorine on, on something. But for this project, it, it doesn't matter because they are just going to sit there. And what else can we do? I have this piece here. No. Nope. And I have this piece here. Yeah, perhaps I will put this there and embroider a big, some blanket stitches around there. I think that is the option here for me to do that. Then I will put a little glue on this and put it there. And I will thread my needle and so and be back. I have uh, sewn this little, it is a bingo. When you're playing bingo, you put this on the numbers. Uh, but I think I've changed my mind because uh, there's uh, this star shape here. I think I would do the same in, the, in this circle here. So um, that is, I'll pre-poke here and down here that was 12 and 6 o'clock and then I will do 3 and 9 o'clock so yeah you have it there and then I will do it here whoops not here on the back and down here and then I will pre-poke here I can feel the, the glue isn't quite dry yet it's like poking in, in wet something but that doesn't matter so I think this would be all for this little piece here and then again I will cut this off and find some tape here and secure my thread and this was day 50 halfway through yeah Hello, hello. Today is day 51 and it is the 8th of April. And this little piece looks like this. This is a piece of fabric with some small stitching, some small crosses. The bleached fabric, it's black fabric and some jelly prints. And this stone, or I don't know what to call it, but it's the inside of, of a date you know the one you eat for christmas so uh, yeah this is a nice one
Hello, hello. Today is day 52 and it is the 9th of April. And um, in this piece I have used again the bleached black fabric. Uh, some snippets of an old patchwork uh, fabric, I think. Some paper. And these small stitches here are French knot with a tail. And perhaps they are called pist pistol stitches. I'm not quite sure, and this is just a piece of some bling bling fabric, but uh, I think it looks nice. So uh, that was day 52. Hello, hello, and welcome to another day. And to be more exact, it is day 53, and it is the 10th of April. 2024. Perhaps you wonder why, but uh, here in Denmark and Europe, I think we put the date before the month. So uh, in other countries, I know you do it the other way around. But uh, yeah, but yeah, let us see what we can do of exciting things today. I have this fabric here. It looks like like raindrops, perhaps. Uh, so perhaps it would be nice with a long skinny piece on the. Yeah, perhaps. Yeah, I think I will try to. Tear. Oh, what a sound! like this and see here I have thread all over me and my table here it gives a lot of extra loose threads these small pieces and tearing of fabric yeah yeah perhaps this way is better And then cut a little of it off here, like this, I think. And then again, tear it. And yeah. And then we need some kind of paper fits to fit there. What do we need? take I will uh, look a little and be back I found this small piece here it is some patchwork fabric I think Hello. perhaps this is the uh, bale fabric I can't quite remember and I can't remember where I got it from but uh, that doesn't matter I think it looks nice with this Something like that. I think that looks nice. And yeah, I will glue it down and be back. Yeah, I have glued the pieces down, and uh, now I want a little something there. And what can it do? Be what can it be? I have my little plate here with different things in it. This piece, perhaps. Uh, yeah, that's too small. I also have this. This is a uh, Chivik. I have had it under my iron, and then you can make holes in it. That's a whole not another story. You. Okay. 
I don't like to 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 cut it in it because it looks so so cut it or if you could say so I like it much better if it has the edges of itself after I have been putting my iron on but it has yeah this drop shape as these have so I think it's okay here so let us put that away for a moment and see yeah I can maybe cut it a little more drop shaped yeah like this I think it's okay so I will put some glue on just a little because I will stitch it on also there I will let it dry for a little and also this uh, other fabric dry and then I will stitch this on. Yes, I just poked a hole through the paper and then secured my thread and I will just a few places stitch through here and I can poke through the holes in the Tyvek very easily. And up here and down there. And I can give it a little there. isn't something I can perhaps I can yeah it's a little harder when there isn't a hole to go through but uh, it's me who is in charge here so I will decide where the stitches are going to be and not this piece the only stitch I can think of who is related to the drop shape is chain stitches. So I think I will just make a row here of chain, chain stitches. So again, I would like them quite on a row. So I will take my plastic here and can stitch through and my little ruler. And where do I want them? I think I want them down here, like this, approximately. And then I have this poking tool. Many have asked me what it is, what kind of tool it is, and where to buy it. But um, this is my hobby who has made it for me. It is a wooden handle and apart from a compass, and then I can turn that little screw there and put the needle in but you can take a corkscrew and you can take a um, darning needle and put it up in the corkscrew and glue it on and then you have a nice tool to poke holes with oh you can just use a, a darning needle without any handle on but it is nice nice to have a handle on it when you poke especially if you are poking a lot so i will come up here i will remove this plastic thing if you have this plastic you can also uh, use a notebook or your self-healing cutting mat, mat 
mat, I think it's called, and uh, yeah, notebook or something. So, uh, in, down in the hole again, and I put my thumb in the loop, thumb up here, in the loop, and drag this way. Down in the loop and open the hole from the back. And I have my thumb in the loop. Like this. And don't drag too much in your thread here because then you will make the little drop shape like just a, a long, long stitch, and that isn't the meaning here. you got it so it looks like this i will stitch the whole way down and be back so here it is day 53 with the chivik and chain stitches and uh, so this was one way of doing it so see you tomorrow good morning this is day yeah I have forgot to write it, but it is the what is up and down. This here is D fifty four, and it is the eleventh of April two thousand and twenty four. Yeah, sorry for that, uh, but um, here again the bleached fabric, the black bleached fabric. A piece of uh, jelly print and here I have a cover I think it is a ceiling ring or spring ring of some kind and I just attached it four places and here is some uh, silk thread with some stretch stitches quite simple but uh, quite effectful and I like it Good afternoon, uh, I've just finished this piece and today I have remembered to put the day on, the day 55 and it is the 12th of April. And again, um, two pieces of the bleached uh, black fabric, some jelly prints, some very big cross stitches uh, down here. And this is a piece of sea glass I have just sewn it down to. I, yeah, I don't think I have glued it, uh, so it's just sitting there. And I, I like uh, these sea glasses you can find on the beach. Uh, they are nice to touch, and I like the the colors of the brown and the green one you can find. So uh, this was today. So tomorrow is the last day of this week. So. We would have to make a good one tomorrow, but see you then. Bye bye. I think I will use this fabric here and I think I will use that piece down there. So I will start to and I have remembered today, 56 and the 13th of April. So, yeah. I would like to have these small dots there. So if I can go as close as I can to them there. Oh, what a lo lovely sound. 
and uh, yeah, I will take a little, little more here, over here on this side too. Edges. These are really nice frayed edges here. <laughs> Perhaps like this. And drag it a little in the shape here. Or perhaps like this. Yeah, I don't know. And then we will have to. find a small piece down here and what could that be uh, I think this could if I somehow could get this piece out here this could be nice so I think I will start to cut it out I and mean, then I can always tear the edges Afterwards. There, and take some of this off. That looks nice. I don't like that. But I like this shape. Really. You could really use a lot of time fiddling around with <laughs> your papers and your fabric. And sometimes you just need to just take it and say, this is how it's going to be. Because it's I can sit here until tomorrow. And I don't want to bother you or be bothered myself. I will uh, be back. I will think a little and so be back. I ended up this way and uh, I think I like it this way. But it needs a little more to do. So uh, again, I have taken my little plate here. Oh. Let's see if I can find something. Oh, I have this small seed pot from. I don't know what tree it is, but I think I like it there, perhaps. Yeah, I think this would be that. I will uh, give it a little glue and also secure it with some stitches. So here it is, the little seed pot, just with two stitches and secured with tape on the back. And um, I think I will leave, do uh, some small French knots here, who speaks to these small dots there. And that is all because there's a lot happening with this paper down here. So just secure that and my way of making French knots is to hold the thread here and turn in two, three, four, one, two, three, four times around your needle and um, and go down not in the same hole but as close as you as you can um, and it is a little different than if it has been fabric because there you could go 
really close. But uh, if you go too close and, and in two holes on paper, it will end up like one hole. But uh, I have turned a lot of times around my needle, so the knot is big four times around. And I keep the tension here and this thread here. And I go down as close as I can and keep my tension here and go through. And there you have a small French knot. And let us make another one. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. You end up learning how to say the numbers in Danish. make another one here come up from the back if I can and again one two three four and yeah the more not you make the more the thread likes to curl up and as close as you can and down here They are really nice. So let's do the last one here. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Down there. Keep the tension. Perfect. And there. Boom. That was that. And again. Oops, the tape on and put this on. So this looks very nice. Yeah.